The protracted security challenges bedeviling Zamfara State have resulted in massive displacement of persons from communities across the 40 local government areas of the state. Women and children are obviously worst hit by the problem, as a good number of them are now widows and orphans who lost their breadwinners to terrorist attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Latest official figure from Zamfara State Government shows that there are no fewer than 600,000 internally displaced women and children in the state. A substantial number of the IDPs who moved to the state capital, Guso, and headquarters of some other local government areas of the state are finding it very difficult living a normal life. Life, as they have over the years lost their beheadings. Gaba doesn't watch a garden. Bama and the sign in the one yaki. So it came a chataka say matawala and chi. So quash show us a tailor suit. Come as some quash a duke here. Come as a tailor mother. Come as a cash our suit. The Kachaman and call in the mother must samba. Now I catch you off, must tell the power soon as you are. Mataso, Mataho, Moyen and Amana Galamba. Allah kama sutalla hawa na sutalla hawa mkwasa kuma mkuma. Insa hiyata waye mkuma. Some of the ADPs are squatting in the houses of their relatives. While most of them have now turned any available structure to a camp, they live for long without access to basic needs of life, such as modest food, water, health care and schools for their children. They largely depend on street begging and donations they often get from some individuals and organizations. Dana biya amma sai in na hito na yi bara sannan in ke in ba su abin da sun faci ba abinci ba su tura ba abun zubar ruwa ba abun kwanci haka nan mun ka taho sai in mun yi bara sannan mu samu sai yanzu haka ma ko an gana yana ne yana fama da uban dawaki wa ne yana can shi ma yana fama da shi ba kudin magani iya na hudu yan mata suna can sun yi wata kasuwa wurin bara i su ma suna can some of the IDPs, including pregnant women, said for months they don't know the whereabouts of their husbands, while some of the displaced children are badly looking for their missing parents. Mama, I not Although the federal government, in collaboration with Zamfara State Government, has in many occasions made large donations of some relief items for the displaced persons, it has been grossly inadequate. The issue of uh, internally displaced persons has been really challenging for the state, but um, alhamdulillah, with the help of the state government as well as the federal government, we're able to um, respond to the internally displaced persons um, issues. Uh, part of the strategies we are using, we had a massive distributions of empowerment items, which um, it was the second phase of the uh, program. The first phase we distributed some uh, tricycle cargo uh, machines, 3.3 um, kVA generators, as well as industrial sewing machines to the vulnerable and the internally displaced persons in the state. But somehow along the line we realized that they are selling it which um, defeats the purpose because the whole essence of uh, doing the empowerment program is for us to provide for them so that they can have something sustainable. Sustainability is the, the target behind the empowerment um, program. So we decided to suspend it because they were selling it. So this time around we came back with a new strategy. And the strategy is we distributed the items through the local government. And that local government we made a committee representative from the um, State House of Assembly, representative from the Emirate Council, representative of our honorable commissioners and honorable special advisors, chairman local government as well as the sole administrators the category of these six people are to monitor the exercise and ensure that um, 
the items are not sold, they are utilized as designed by the ministry. We have also done a lot of distribution in regards to uh, food items as well as non-food items. Um, we have also um, making provisions in regards to shelter. As you know, we have uh, about eight internally displaced uh, persons camp across the state, six in Anka, one in Maradum, and the other one in Mada. We have just finished putting um, solar street lights in each of the IDP camps, and uh, from time to time we operate transitional IDP camp. Transitional IDP camp in the sense that when the needs be, we operate and then after some time we close it. So those are the steps that we have taken in ensuring that we address the issues of uh, internally displaced persons in the state. As you are aware that the first state is not facing only man-made disaster but also natural disaster. So some of these internally displaced persons are not victims of uh, banditry, they are victims of uh, flood and disaster. The federal government have been assisting us from time to time through the National Emergency Management Agency as well as Refugee Commission. The Ministry of Humanitarian has also played a key role, but the issue is um, it is not sufficient, that is the truth. Also, the state government is super uh, assisting in regards to this issue of internally displaced persons. But if you look at the statistics, this is a population of over 5, 000, uh, 5 million people in the state with high number of um, IDPs close to 700,000 women and children inclusive. So if you look at that percentage compared to the population, you find out that we have over 15% of the total population that are IDPs. And therefore, the state cannot afford to cut off for everybody, more especially because of the security challenges that the state is, uh, is facing. And it's the reason why we are extending our hands, trying to see how we can bring in other donor agencies to come and assist the state. You are aware that initially the internally displaced persons are not even recognized in the state and therefore we have only maybe one which is um, Doctors Without Borders. I think it's the only international organization that is within the first state which has been operating for over a decade. But presently with what we are doing we are able to bring back those international agencies. We have um, Solidarity International, we have World Food Programme, we have Save the Children presently, we have Islamic, uh, Islamic Soko, we have IRC, International Rescue Committee. We have all those international organizations that are in. And even yesterday, the state hosted uh, a whole high delegation team from United European Union, um, Germany, Ambassador of Norway, um, UNDP, UNICEF, among others. So at least we have tried in regards to coordination and ensuring that um, we stretch our hands out for other organizations to come and assist the state. It is observed that lack of organized IDP camps in Zamfara State is undercutting the ability of the authorities and donor organizations in reaching out to the displaced persons with assistance at the few camps currently maintained by the state government are overstretched.